Well guys, we finally uh, get to unveil Tim Cameron's new buggy and uh, met up with him today to do a little walk around of it and let him tell us a few details about it. So uh, Timmy, tell us a little bit about your new buggy. Well, the motor I, uh, I kept from my recent buggy Showtime. It's just the, that same GM crate motor, LSX 444, uh, 620 horse. Um, went with a fully built power glide transmission from PTC. Uh, which this time I want to get away from the Atlas from having braking problems and whatnot. Um, went with a straight drive case, uh, seen in a lot of mud trucks and most monster trucks these days. Um, it has inch three quarter ten spline input and outputs. So hopefully that's going to eliminate that problem. And uh, I got it from Profab. Uh, went with 1480 joints in the drive shafts to eliminate the 1410 braking problem, which most people don't have. But I had it a couple times. I just wanted to get away from it to to try to push a problem probably somewhere else. But um, went there, I wanted to go ahead and do an axle that hopefully will uh, be able to stand the abuse and went with a Dana 80, which got a little bit bigger ring gear than a 14 bolt. Um, I wanted to do a C and knuckle setup that was hopefully indestructible. It's King Sling runs, it's Overson C and, C and knuckle combo. Uh, it's a little pricey, but it's a, it's a very, very good product, I believe. And, Went 47 splines, two inch shafts, which to date I believe have been unbro unbreakable. Um, went with IBP shocks from King. It's something something new they got going on. Um, supposed to be top of the line. They, they are a little pricey, but but uh, I wanted to upgrade from what I had in the past. So I figured I would try to give them a run and a little shock tuning and, and spring work. Maybe we can get it, get it where it'll it'll go good and everything. Um, kept my Hummer wheels. Uh, race line is is uh, going to help me out with some new 20s, all aluminum. Whenever they arrive, uh, I'm going to I'm going to run them and that way cut the weight down a little bit and everything. But um, I got my Hummer wheels. I kept from Showtime's. Had them had them repainted. Of course, always be the Interco. Um, but they're 43SX tire. It's it's uh it's held up to some severe abuse and I, I, it's been very minimal cuttage that people have had. Um, me, I haven't cut one. It's uh, been phenomenal tire. Um, other than that, that's that's really everything else. Is pretty basic. Um, what uh, what did the final weight end up being? It was forty four sixty three, which is a uh, pretty pretty. I was very happy with that. Um, it's got it's got a, a, a bit less tubing than Showtime. Uh, probably a good forty foot less one eighty eight tubing. It's about a it's around about five hundred pounds lighter than Showtime was and. Uh, I was very happy with Showtime. I probably wouldn't have got rid of the buggy if it, if I could have fit the straight drive monster truck case in there. Um, I was used to it. It climbed good. Uh, no regrets. But this one, in my in my opinion, this one here ought to it ought to do as good, if not better. All right. How about starting it up for us? Let us yeah, yeah. let us hear it. <laughs> 